mode. So I, I had a, a question from an advanced um, uh, spiritual um, student, let's call it a spiritual student. What if, um, as one goes into the silence, others may, other members or family members may relate from a place of the old patterns that used to be in play uh, at when one was at a lower level of consciousness. So it's a bit like um, can be, for example, you know, I'm a victim. Please rescue me. And um, what what happens? It or or sometimes it can seem that one is hasn't got the capacity to um, to relate to others from. Um, from the old um from the old patterns so uh that that is a thing of transition there's quite a few things to say on that um and or, and uh, guilt may come up and that's um that's to be expected i think the um now the pathway um of just pure self inquiry or pure observing can lead to um well you see if it, if it's done in a certain way it leads to the disappearance of the world and the disappearance of of people and relations so it cuts everything very very quickly and um and sometimes um guilt or thoughts of um uh being uncompassionate towards others will come up and I would say that um, that's part of the, you know, there is messages in that for, for work. Um, part of it is um, uh, some some spiritual students, are quite, oh, well, with Hawkins, my teacher, David Hawkins, he went into such a state of profound silence and bliss at such a profound level that there was absolutely no capacity to communicate so he just left his wife and work and job and everything and just went off into the desert because there was nothing, no capacity to even relate because he was, you know, if you like, uh, had gone out, rocketed into such a vibration and so stayed in a hut in the, in the desert for many years before he was able to adjust and um, before a capacity to adjust, not the ego, but a capacity just to communicate and use voice to communicate, developed uh, through grace. So that can happen, but usually if one is going to a level and is slowly transit transitioning to these profound states, there uh, comes a capacity with family and friends of, um, you know, um, of um, uh, feeling like one, either one isn't able to compassionately relate or one is feeling like that stuff is not real or one is in a different dimension, so he's not able to have that uh, kind of um, lower, well, not lower, the, the capacity to to give comforting words to them so that they're alleviated of their suffering, family or friends. So that can happen. Usually for me, or the guilt can come up. So usually for me, that's just, um, for me, that would probably indicate if I'm going to still be seeing family members uh, now and then, it would require, uh, in my view, a capacity to resolve the communication with family members so as um uh, uh, i'll explain how that's done so as that some words can come out of the mouth which um which uh give the um doesn't have to it doesn't have to come from uh what you think but just to give some uh not to inflict um unnecessary suffering on others if they're sort of going on with uh, with their experience uh, so as um, at least not to do um, not to do any particular harm to them even though they're, they're stuck in their stories or believe their bodies are real or their emotions are real so that capacity comes uh, how does it, how does that capacity come well um I would say it's more like um, a silent intuition that one has to develop. Uh, it's, it's what I was showing in another video. A video. Uh, through grace, there can be the capacity um, to re-identify 
with a lower vibration just for a temporary phase, just for communicative purposes. So there's just enough identification with the family and what what's being said, and also with any thoughts or memories that come up that still remain, to be able to give some sort of uh, comforting words. And also sometimes to help them have resolution and forgiveness and also healing of the wounds where they're at at their current level of consciousness because um shall we say for some some um mystical reason uh, there's some more stuff that needs to be transcended um uh, so i think some people are lucky in that they can just leave the whole world uh, and family members and friends don't need to sort of bother them and that might be the luck of some people who are seeking total and fast enlightenment but for some it's like these family members or friends keep coming back so it's like the universe is saying one needs to develop a capacity to get resolution and forgiveness and healing in the communication so um i would i my intuition is in some contexts it just requires um, yeah, so the way I do it, or I can share my experience, is that sometimes if I feel it's my function, for example, my function is to teach, is to sometimes in, not be in the state of absolute blissed out so that there's no tracking, uh, but is to lower, uh, to sort of allow uh, identification and experience of this world so as to make, I guess you'd say it's like to seem to be a person and to seem to give crypt, uh, you know, communications at the level of consciousness of which the person or identified individual is communicating to try and give some uh, cryptic communications to help them heal wherever they're at. So that capacity in my situation, I think, um, yeah, that, that has come through intuitively for me. So I think uh, for some, uh, especially if these... Um, I think the universe is sometimes asking one to develop this. Um, so you can't really explain it. It's more like, well, I'd explain it like, you know, when people are about, rather than not being, not not having any identification with the world and being so blissed out that not even communication or experiencing the world is hardly happening, is just to allow, because it's it seems at the level of non-thought to be... Um, the thing that's being required you know and in those cryptic communications or identifications to allow the deletion of any of my stories and their stories that are coming up but also uh, a capacity just uh, for grace if you like or the holy spirit to make communications uh, which are comforting or compassionate or helpful or miraculous indeed for um, the other individuals who are trying to relate in a different way so usually for me i sort of see it like there's still some heavy stuff there that the universe is asking for um for resolution it's like you know for me that would mean like you can't i can't escape that easily with some of them like uh like uh you know some some additional um additional stuff needs to occur before these relationships cease to be creating identification and uh, or guilt or anything like that okay i'll stop there